is up guys this is Tito back with another video on Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you get the ANX camera fully working almost and with the pro video mode you can get up to 4k 60fps manual video control and that's just huge a lot of devices which are even launching right now has only 1080p 30fps video recording even with the rear or main camera so that's really disappointing but with the Redmi K20 Pro you can get manual 4k 60 fps video shooting option and that is just saying a lot about it i would say yes this is one of the best features for the k20 pro that you can get and if you're someone who wants to shoot professional videos on the redmi k20 pro with 4k 60 fps manual control you can definitely do that from right now but let me show you i am right now on the latest build of the evolution x rom 8th june 2022 built and here we have the 6.5 omega version i have actually flashed magisk let me show you so this is the magisk that i have been using this is the magisk version 25 as you can see from right here and let me tell you that you can also find it in the telegram group i'll post the link of this in the description don't worry but let me tell you i will explain everything that i have done over here but i'm not going to show you every process because i have already done it but i will tell you every process that i have done to actually get it working and here let me actually show you the anx camera first so that i can give you a glance about it in the pro video section and if you switch to this video mode we have this iso control and stuff and as you can see we have this whole control of iso also there is that 4k 60 fps option up to and you can also do 4k 30 1080p 60 1080p 30 and 720p 30 fps also you can enable this focus speaking and stuff if you are someone who is willing to see all these focuses and stuff where it's focusing this is gonna make everything different so right now i will show you how i got everything working over here like the 4k 60 fps and stuff also the anx camera is actually working perfectly fine i'll show you everything on this camera later on but first i'll show you the installation method of this anx camera so talking about flashing of course you need to flash the rom first so if you don't know how to flash the Evolution X ROM or any other Android 12 L ROM, you can definitely check out the guide of flashing any ROM and I have decrypted storage over here. And after you have flashed the particular ROM, you need to flash this Magisk version 25. This is the APK. Of course, you can definitely flash it with the Orange Fox recovery or you can just install it then flash in the recovery itself. That option is still there. But yes, I have flashed this Magisk version 25. You just flash it as a zip file. But yes, this is a APK file by default. And here you have to go into the settings later to actually get the safety net and stuff working. So first of all, I will show you how can you get the safety net working. Let me actually open the file explorer. Here I have all the files that you need. So if you want to get safety net working at first, you need to actually flash the safety net fix with Magisk. So let me show you. After you have flashed Magisk, of course, from now on you go into this module section then go to this install from storage and from here you can go into the directory where you have downloaded all the files and then you just select this safety net fix if you want to like fix the safety net first because after flashing magic safety net will break automatically so that's why you need to flash this safety net fix so after you have done that the safety net fix and stuff you go into the settings you scroll down and enable this systemless host then enable zgisk and enforce denial list and then from here in the configure denial list you can enable all these apps that I have enabled inside this safety net. So let me actually show you in the deny list. We have the Amazon pay, the G pay, the safety net test, SBI card and the SBI quick, you know, SBI, etc. G pay and stuff, everything, all the banking apps you can add over here. You can just search over here and you can also enable play services over here. So after you have enabled all this, it will look like this. So yeah, safety net, this is how you can get it passed. Let me actually show you by doing the safety net check. So as you can see it passes my safety net test so yes this is how you get the safety net or the banking apps working this anx camera installation this is where you start the process so from here you go into this install from storage and then in here you have all the files all the four files that you need the first thing is the miui core of course this is the version 3.9 of the miui core and i'll list the link for this in the description but make sure you're flashing the miui code version 3.9 if you want to get all these features working so first thing you flash from the magisk modules is the miui code after you flash that you go back you flash the actual anx camera version 190r which is about 400 mb plus so that's the second zip there you have to flash this anx camera provider i'll list the links of all these in the description don't worry 
but again the third step that you need to flash is the anx camera provider then you need to flash this 448 megapixel fix so that's the fourth item in the list so after you flashed all these four things by order then you can just reboot your device once so once you reboot your device after that you will find the anx camera and it may close one or two times but that's totally fine so once you open the anx camera you will be greeted with all these things like the ultra wide angle lens working super fine the 2x telephoto lens is also working fine then if you switch to the front camera and stuff yes the front camera will be working perfectly fine too and you can see there is all these like aspect ratio changing option and stuff even the portrait mode is working perfectly fine here also if you want to shoot 48 megapixel photos Yes, 48 megapixel mode is also working with this AMX camera. If I show you right now, let me actually show you this. I just picked a picture of this, like fig plant, and here just notice how much details is preserved. And if I go into the info section, there you will see it is a 48 megapixel photo. So, yes, 48 megapixel is working perfectly fine. Let me just go back. The only things which are not working, I would say is the documents mode like i have seen it shows the ui but it's not working actually if i put some document and stuff over here it doesn't show that rectangular stuff so yeah other than that everything should be working great there is that front and back section too so if you want to shoot front camera and back camera together too you can actually enable this but i'll show you how can you enable these things and the pro video mode and stuff you won't get it by default but i'll show you how can you enable it but after just flashing in the video section you will see there is that 4k 60 fps option up to and of course you can shoot up to 4k 60 fps with the rear camera but if you switch to the ultra wide angle lens and stuff there will be limited up to 4k 30 fps also the 2x telephoto lens okay so 2x is actually using 4k 60 fps not really sure how but yeah these options i think it's using the main sensor so yeah these options are there and even in the normal photo mode there are all these options and there is the night mode the panorama the slow motion is not working over here i have seen it not working and if you go into the settings of the video let me actually show you there is the video encoder you can change it like hevc or the h.265 if you want to but the settings does not look too good but yes you can disable the location and the shutter sound and stuff and we have the other settings if you're noticing like the watermark and stuff you can have it disabled or enabled as you like it there is a qr code scanner the picture quality you can adjust the volume button function you can change the function to shutter and stuff if you want to so yeah all these options you get over here and the anx camera right now is perfectly working but let me show you how can you get that pro video mode and the front and back etc to go into the play store so once you search that you will get this app anx camera pro i will also list this app below so once you open it after installing you will see all these things but all these things won't be supported over here there are a huge amount of ton of things if you search over here like write video over here just search that and once you search that we have the pro video iso 6400 this is what you need to make true once you click on that just click on save after that your anx camera will be having that pro video up to 4k 60 fps i mean pro manual controlled 4k 60 fps videos so that's just huge and we have the other things like the dual video and stuff you can also enable like save from here after enabling all these you have to close your anx camera once then reopen it like just close it from the recent panel then reopen it you will see all these features are available right now and of course you can change the focus and stuff from right here and if you want to do manual focus you have the option for that too just like this so yes this is how you get your anx camera working 100 percent on the evolution x from latest build with android 12 l and i thought this is something that you guys need to see let me in the comments what you guys think about this video share it with your friends if you find it helpful give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now 